Good morning, everybody. It is Friday early morning. I am up to watch WandaVision episode three. So I'm not really all that excited yet. I've uh, I watched the last two episodes last week. If you caught my reaction to that one, um, I thought that the show was funny. I thought it was cute. Uh, very much like an episode of I Love Lucy, uh, The Honeymooners. Uh, it mixed in with a little bit of maybe Bewitched. But as the show to carry forward uh, the Marvel Universe, the Marvel Cinematic Universe, I was a little bit disappointed. Uh, lacked action for me. And, um, and then there wasn't enough uh, progression with whatever's going on in the background for me to feel like, okay, you know, I'm, I'm engaging in this, uh, in that manner, you know, so, um, so I was just a, a little bit disappointed with that. And I, and I stated that when I, when I saw the reaction last week, but shout out to one of the, uh, to one of our viewers, uh, hit me up and he, and, uh, he learned in the comments, uh, a little bit of a synopsis of the, of the, uh, excuse me, it's early morning <laughs> of the house of M. And, uh, and then he got me a little hyped for that. So this past week, I, I've been downloading pretty much every comic in the series of House of M from the main story and even in the side stories just to get uh, caught up a little bit on that. Uh, I'm pretty far away through it. I think I'm like almost at uh, the sixth book or the seventh book in the House of M series uh, along with the order in, in the order of reading. So there's a lot of books in between there and everything. Really awesome story. Uh, I haven't read yet Avengers Disassemble. I probably should have started there, but I wanted to get into House of M and see what that was all about. And um, and then in that story, you know, uh, Wanda, uh, Wanda, Scarlet Witch, goes nuts, and then she creates this uh, alternate reality so that she can cope with uh, what has happened with her, you know, uh, losing some of the Avengers, losing her kids uh, that made her go nuts, and she created this alternate reality where she could cope with what's going on and she created this reality for everybody so seeing that you know made me think that there's some hope for this and what this could possibly mean i mean for not just for this uh show but for what it could mean for the entire marvel cinematic universe you know even possibly spider-man you know going into sony and all this other stuff so i was like wow this could be really cool and of course you know the introduction of the x-men uh, once marvel brings that on so that has me uh, hopeful. So uh, I heard from um, from watching the uh, Kevin Smith uh, uh, show uh, that a, that episode three he said was a turning point. So I'm hoping he's right. Let's get into this right now. It's time for the reaction. Let's see what this episode's all about. Hopefully it is what everybody says it is. It's about thirty minutes long, and let's do it. Disney. I like this episode. I love her style. And then that background stuff that's going on is, is starting to kick in. The magic that was going on in that episode was pretty cool, too. It was cute, funny. Reminded me of one of those uh, shows of uh, Bewitched. And they introduced the sword in that one. Yeah, we got color. Ah, this music always gets me hyped. Oh boy. Going into the seventies now. The Brady Bunch style. <laughs> Still got that laugh track. Yep. Definitely pregnant. Oh. Well, that must be figured. We'd be concerned. And the house even changed. What the hell? Think you might have taken the head strumming a little too far there, old chum. So I have. Thanks, buddy. Yeah. Wow. I mentioned it. Have I? I can't tell from this angle. 
right hard way to be a proud papaya. <laughs> The jokes are cute, but eh. eh. He's gonna be here before you figure it out. Mm. Tommy. Stop the clock. Time. Your personal best. Yes. And then nothing is not prepared. Oh. What's happening what the now? Let's abandon the kitchen. Ooh. Okay. Whoa. It's more of the same feeling from last week. Phil, <laughs> these earrings make me look fat. Oh, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> it appears that the whole block is up. Oh, and that. I know what you mean. But it's more than that, isn't it? Yes, I know what you mean. She wanted it again. The truth is, we are in uncharted waters. I just don't know what to expect. Nope. She wants. I think she's doing it to herself. It's like. It's like she doesn't want to. She wants to hear what she wants to hear. You know? Her water broke. Thanks. Yes, dear? I think my water just broke. Yes, dear. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Hide yourself. Hide yourself. Mm, the stork. No more. The baby's coming. You're pregnant? Yes. So long as we hurry. But Dan, <laughs> what about my brand new two piece? <laughs> so let's get you punched up. Wanda, I can hear you. I say it's an understanding friend right there. She has twins, don't she? Mm-hmm. Yep. Twins. 
squints. And an explanation. Yeah, I see the play on words right there. People trying to leave the town. Oh, is she going to bring him back to life? There you go. What do you mean she has no heart? Upside down necklace. She came here because. She came here because. She came here because we're all. She came here because we're all what? What are you trying to tell me? You're all trapped. What is that? Hmm. Well, that music's chilling. All right. Is there anything at the end? No. Okay. All right. That the ending was definitely better. Uh, most of the show was kind of like what I expected from the last episode. So um, some parts were pretty funny, but uh, most of it was just you know the the usual. Um, she's definitely trapped in some kind of world, and they're starting to break through. So I think that's uh, that's pretty interesting. Uh, there was speculation that her friend was the the one that the the nosy neighbor was the um was the witch uh, agatha i think i read up on that uh interesting to see the the cross upside down that they, you know, brings me makes me feel about witches so i don't know what to deal with that is yet i'm gonna have to look that up uh, but i like the ending on this one and I, I thought she was gonna you know she was gonna bring back her brother there when she started thinking about it and everything but uh definitely that whole last part there with her and uh, and the um, can't think of that woman's name now. Is it Gisela? I think what her name was. <laughs> uh, she that that was kind of creepy. So it seems like the people in the town are aware that they're trapped in this world, but that they can't escape. You know, you see the play on the words and everything. So very cool. All right, so I'm, I'm really interested to see what's going to happen on the next episode. Looks like we're getting into wide vision, so maybe we're going to start seeing more of this uh, sub-story breaking through, and then we're going to get a little bit more more of the real story that's actually going on. So as always, guys, let me know what you guys think about this episode in the comments below, and I'll be here next week for another reaction video. So until next time, guys, keep it marvelous.